We now want to invite Dieter Kostlik. Some of you will know him. Dieter Kostlik is the founder and director of one of the world's most important film festivals that takes place here every winter. Uh, and uh, my son, who is in the film business in L.A., met him long ago, and after that I met Dieter Kostlik. And in the spring, when we were thinking about the festival, we wanted to do some films here for this uh, summit, and he is the one who found for us that wonderful film uh, that you saw in the opening days that Anz Holger... Uh, what? Yeah, I know, Anz Holger's film, Rain is Falling. And he's also found another film for us, uh, that we want to show now, and that Dieter is going to uh, introduce the film as Vaga. And Dieter, where are you? Where are you? You're right in front of me. Still here, still down front. Uh, so what, if you want to start here, then we'll pull this. Yep. That's what, so why don't you come here and make the remarks. We, then we'll pull this back so people can see and uh, see the film. But thank you, Dieter, so much for your support thank of the you. summit and for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you, Benjamin. Thank you all. I'm <clears throat> proud to um, present this film here in this frame of this conference and in front of such distinguished people you are. I'm actually not the founder of the Berlin Film Festival because it, we just celebrated the 60th anniversary and, I, <laughs> and I'm 62, so... You were a youthful genius. Yeah, like yeah. That. We had actually, we, 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 uh, I, um, each year with this, some kind of protest, I invite uh, representatives from the film industry or film culture, I don't know how, how to say this, film politicians from North Korea. And um, they always come with three people. Two are the spies who, who, who spy what the third one is saying. Because this is always quite a complicated uh, conversation we have. And um, they are a delegation, and I don't have a delegation all the time handy. So at this year they uh, asked me to have a little chat with me about uh, the German-North Korean relationship in cinema. There is some. And, um, but the small talk business is not the business of North Korean people. So, and I actually didn't know what to say after two or three sentences, and because you cannot ask uh, how is the food to, today and all this kind of stuff, so this is not allowed. So uh, I said, oh, look, we are just celebrating um, uh, 60 years of Berlin Film Festival. Um, uh, and then one of the North Koreans said to me, Oh, you are running this since you are two years old. And I said, ah, this is the way they are thinking. And I thought maybe they are just thinking about their president because they are, he is running his country, his country since he was one year old, as we all know. So I'm not the founder, but I'm in since exactly nine years. And my first, and my first journey to Hollywood, to Los Angeles, was at the 10th of September I was in Mexico City and uh, at the 11th in the morning I woke up and uh, somebody called me actually from my office and said you have to switch on the television said something terrible is going on and you have no idea so I saw the 11th of September on te the beginning on, um, on television but this was also my first day in my history and I was un under heavily pressure uh, to go to the Hollywood studio at this day because at 4 o'clock in the afternoon I had my first appointment with Terry at Disney. And uh, so I didn't know what to do. The, the planes didn't work, so I called a friend of mine to pick me up and she said, yeah, just come to Tijuana at the border and I pick you up there. So I flew to Tijuana, she picked me up and I was there 4 o'clock at Disney. So there was only Terry in this, at Disney. All other people uh, haven't been there. And she was waiting in a way because she had some German relationship and she said, I thought you will come, but that you are in time at this, at this day, that you are really sharp on four o'clock, this only Germans can do. So, it, but this journey under, under the 11th of September really made my program up to today because I completely changed what I wanted to show uh, on the film festival. And the Berlin Film Festival is not only 60 years old, it's a very big festival, and it's not only a festival uh, 
for critics and for 20,000 uh, um, professionals. This is also a festival since the beginning where more than 500,000 people go in 10 days in the cinema here. And um, if this is uh, also a festival for the audience. So when we had the first festival in February, I put something on the poster we never have done before. I put a kind of motto, what, what we say in Germany, and the motto was, accept diversity. And a year later, we put another motto on, towards tolerance. And what I learned in, in, during the, this week, I was in America during, uh, during this after the 11th of September, I was in, in Los Angeles and in New York. What I, what I learned for me was I have, to do so, I have to do something different and I have to do something for young people. I make the story short. After two years, we founded at the Berlin Film Festival um, an association called Talent Campus where we invited 500 young people from all over the world, young filmmakers um, at the edge uh, at the beginning of their career, we invite them, we pay for everything, and we have a um, meeting for one week in the House of the Culture of the World, uh, and uh, where we give them the best people which are in the festival, actors, producers, directors, and we give them also some money to produce films. In the meantime, this network, after eight years, uh, are more than 4,000 uh, young filmmakers all around the world. And there was one initiative a couple of years ago we created together with a local uh, uh, film fund with the Median Board, Berlin Brandenburg. It's called the Berlin Today Award. So five people of, five people of, this, um, of these young filmmakers from all over the world, and actually more, uh, the people in the meantime are coming from more than 130 countries in the world. So this is a, this is a lot of, of countries which are represented in this talent campus. So what, one of the things we are doing, we give five people money to produce a film which has something to do with Berlin but also with the rest of the world. And then they get not only the money, they get also the infrastructure to produce this film. This film you will see now was um, started in 2008. And we wanted to do something, and I think it's also your, sub also your subject. We wanted to do something about the walls in the world, because it was the 20th anniversary of the, of the wall. The wall was down at, uh, in 1989. And we wanted to do something on, on the concrete walls in the world, because there are still a lot of walls, as you know. Actually, there are real walls, I think, eight or nine. Uh, in Northern Ireland, in Cyprus, in, in Palestine, or in uh, Israel, there are a lot of walls around. And um, so we wanted to do something. So this was the subject, and we got, uh, I think, 650 short films about walls. My, it was called My Wall. And one of these My Wall film was so impressive that I couldn't believe it, because it was, it's a film, and I... I don't talk too much about the film because we see it. It's a, a very specific, it's not a wall, but it's a border, a border we all know, and the border we all know now, uh, just now. And this border still exists, and this border is, of course, completely ridiculous, like all the borders in the world. And uh, we will see what happens with this border, and I'm happy to give you some details afterwards about the filmmakers. The filmmakers are coming from the two countries you will see. The country is still divided. They have never seen each other. The two guys are really slum dog millionaires, because they are not millionaires actually, but they got a lot of awards and also money for this film. But they all both come out of the slums of these two countries. They met first time in Berlin at the Talent Campus. They made this film, and I'm happy to can present you this film and then we will see what we think about.